Hi my gems, um, I'm coming to you today with a brow tutorial. It has been requested not just on this channel but from friends and family personally. So I wanted to come to you guys to explain to you how I personally do my brows. Um, I hope that this video will be informative and I hope that you guys learn something new today. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay ladies, let's jump right into this tutorial. So before I do anything on my brows, I know y'all peep this. Just know that it's going to get fixed, okay? Like this week, in a couple days, whatever. Just ignore this, okay? Before I do anything with my brows, let's so talk about brows. I like to set them into the direction that they're gonna go in. So I use a brow gel. The one I'm using is from European Wax Center. I like to brush my hairs up in the front. I wanna make sure that you guys can really see what I'm doing. And then up and over. And that really already defines my shape for what I'll be doing next. So up in the front, up and over for the rest of the brow. Just like that. You can go a lot of different ways when it comes to brows. You can do a brow pencil, you can do a brow pomade, you can do um, a brow powder. Both of which should be on my table. Okay, I found one of them. The brow powder. Um, the brow pomade, on the other hand, wants to go missing. Huh. Anyway, they each give you a different effect. A brow powder um, will give you a light, airy, more natural effect. A brow pencil can give you the freedom to go in between either a natural effect or a more dramatic effect and a brow pomade usually just gives you a dramatic effect depending on how heavy or how light of pressure you use with a brush. Today I think I'm gonna go towards my brow pencil and so my pencil which is the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade espresso and my brow powder which is from European Wax Center in the shade Sepia and Sienna and it's a duo I don't know if you can see it has a darker side and a more lighter reddish side sort of so okay I'm waiting for my brows to get a little bit drier oh they're pretty good I'm just gonna run my finger through them to get rid of any excess product that may be lingering on my brow. I'm gonna use my brow brush. Um, a lot of different brands have this brush with the spoolie on one end and the brush on the other end. This just happens to be from European Wax Center. So I'm gonna start off with my brow powder because I like the front of my brows to look a little bit more natural a little bit on the I woke up like this side whereas I like the tail of my brow to be a little bit more defined a little bit more sculpted so I'm going to take my brow duo and I'm gonna take this darker side over here I know the chrome in this is like giving you guys flashes I'm sorry I'm gonna take the darker side and fill in the beginning to the middle of my brow so let me get my little mirror And with light strokes, I'm going to fill this in. And I like this powder. I love powders because they're buildable. You can go from 0 to 60 quite quickly depending on how you feel that day. I like to give myself definition in the bottom by going straight but then flicking upwards to disperse the color. And since brows are sisters, and sometimes not even first cousins, but second cousins, they're not twins, um, I like to just let my, my natural brow shape 
do all the work for me. Trying to change your brow shape is frustrating and sometimes futile because your brows are going to be what they're going to be. They're very stubborn. They just, they won't be left alone. Alone. So I'm gonna go in now that I've filled in my um, the front of my brow. Um, I'm gonna go in with my micro brow pencil, and I'm going to start from the middle of my brow, defining towards the end of my brow, and I'm gonna start with the bottom. Just following the natural shape of my brow. I also like to elongate the tip of my brow just a little bit because I just like it being longer. I feel like I don't have enough brow. I feel like I'm brow deficient. So I just like to um, help myself out a little bit, you know enhance my fleek a little bit so now I'm gonna follow the same steps up top following the line of my brow from the middle to the end um, when I get to my arch and it's quite easy to figure out where your arch is take your brow pencil the beginning of your brow is gonna line up right by your nose okay the arch of your brow is going to line up right past your pupil. Use your nose as a guide. That's where your arch is supposed to be. And the end of your brow... I'm wrong. Let's roll that back. I was right about the front. The pupil, I'm wrong. It's not past your pupil, okay? It's right in the center of your people. As you can see I'm hitting, yep, not crazy, right in the middle of your people. Oh my god, oh my god, I feel cross-eyed. Okay, right in the middle of your people, you're gonna get your arch. Right at the tip of your people, at the end of your people, you're gonna get the tail of your brow. As you can see I elongated the tail of my brow because mine stops like right here. But I want more. I want more brow. So going up top, I like to lift my brow a little bit by exaggerating um, the middle of my brow. So I like to go up a little more, bit more than the hairs that I have, and then give myself a nice slant coming down on the other side and this allows me to have the tail end of my brow look sharper and I like that a lot of people like a fully natural brow a lot of people like Instagram brows that are just like cut and paste pop them off somebody put them on somebody else it's the same brow because everybody's doing it I kind of like the in-between. I like to be both natural and both super fleeky. I don't know. Some days I like to be natural. Some days I like to be super fleeky. So I've decided that the best brow for me is somewhere in the middle because then I'm satisfied both ways. I'm gonna conceal my brows, clean them up a little bit. Um, this is what's gonna help us get that defined shape that everybody wants okay I'm gonna use my correct and conceal palette from Mac this is the dark one I'm gonna use as you can see I'm beginning to hit pan on a few colors I'm gonna use my concealer in NC 50 to map out my brows and with it I'm going to use my well everybody has this brush the first one I have is from Sigma and it's called a flat definer brush so since then it's what I call every brush like it but this one is from Morphe and it's the M432 brush so using my M432 brush I'm gonna dip into my NC50 concealer 
now mind you this concealer is the same shade as my foundation I believe in carving out my brows with the same shade as my foundation and I'll tell you why because then my brows end up melting into my foundation when I do apply foundation and I don't look like my brows are a completely separate entity from the rest of my face highlighting which I'm going to show you as well you can highlight under the brow using a lighter concealer but that lighter concealer is only intended for under the brow not for above the brow as well so I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna start carving out my brows sticking really close to the bottom of my brow I'm gonna do light motions because I don't want to make a mistake and swipe off my brows that would make me so sad which has happened to me before to do all this work and then end up with no brow trust me it's tragic okay and then you use your brush and you blend downwards Just like that and you use a clean blending brush this is my crown brush I spoke about it in my last tutorial and it's my everything so I'm just gonna blend this out now I'm gonna take the same color concealer and I'm going to sculpt out the top part of my brow and don't worry, it's gonna look a little crazy now because I have on no foundation or anything. But trust me, okay? Trust me, honey. She's gonna pull together, okay? She's gonna come through. Just hold on. I'm gonna show you how to do the top. So with light strokes in the beginning of the brow, nothing too harsh and nothing too irrational. Because trust me, you can swipe off the front of your brow as easy as one, two, three. And then you're left with nothing. So now I'm sculpting out my arch. With short measured strokes. so that I get the silhouette that I'm looking for. Okay. And this is where I'm gonna go back and forth between the top and the bottom of my brow. Just to make sure it's what I want it to be. Okay. And when you're pretty happy with the shape, go in with your blending brush and you start buffing 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 okay so now that I've blended that concealer away I'm gonna show you how I highlight under my brow so I'm gonna take my concealer palette again I'm gonna take a lighter concealer this is NC 45 I'm gonna take a smidge of that and I'm not going to highlight from front to tail. I'm only going to highlight my arch. So beginning in the middle of the brow, sketching it out just like I did before and dragging the concealer down. And then going back in with my blending brush and blending that out that is how I highlight the arch of my brow and that ladies is how I sculpt define and just fleek out my brows um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Stay tuned for the finished look. Okay, my loves, 
this is the finished look from my other video I'm going to link it somewhere over here for this makeup tutorial um, and I guess I told you about the brows how everything comes together how everything meshes together when you use a concealer that is the same shade as your foundation and you build from there um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this brow tutorial if you have any requests please leave them in the comment section below and please remember to like and subscribe and to hit the bell yeah and all that other YouTube stuff Thanks guys, love you, bye.